I just wanted to make a video. Uh, I haven't uploaded a video in probably, oh god, more than six months. Pretty sure the last time I uploaded a video it was like minus 20 and now it's minus 40 and I'm dying. I just wanted to make a video update because uh, I did a thing. I got inspired by Jenna Marbles who, uh, she received some Painted Lady Caterpillars in her P.O. box and she grew them and got to release them and it was so cool and I'm super jealous and I just wanted to do that. Um, so I started looking into it and it's actually super expensive in Canada, like ridiculously expensive. So uh, I committed to the fact that I could only get like three or four um, and uh, additionally I wanted to get Monarchs. So the reason for this is because I really have noticed that there's not monarchs around and it's not just me a lot of people have noticed that monarchs aren't around it used to be that they were like everywhere and you could just go into your milkweed if you had any and find monarchs everywhere and like lift the leaves and find eggs under there um not so much the case anymore so uh i had to purchase them we have milkweed but i had to purchase them so i purchased them from what i'm guessing is a butterfly conservatory in mississauga and while I was waiting for them to show up, because they have to be um, shipped like an overnight thing, I posted it to Facebook, and I was just asking for names, and I really wanted them to be like, silly af, like, super silly. And um, everyone surprised me. I was so floored by just like the awesome amount of cool names. So I can't remember them all. I know what my favorites were. Uh, my favorites were... Uh, Willie Dingus Meat, um, Turducken, Pancake, um, Socrates, Elizabeth, as in like the monarch, Queen Elizabeth. Um, what else was there? Uh, pickles. I used the term giggle dick, like I was like, oh man, these really hit me in my giggle dick, and everyone's like, I vote for giggle dick. I'm like, that wasn't an option, but it is now. So I got these butterflies, and I haven't picked. Not the butterflies, got the caterpillars. And I haven't picked names yet. They're super awesome, but I don't really know. Like, I can't get personalities. They're just caterpillars right now. They're just babies right now. They have to go into their chrysalids and, like, turn, and then I'll get to meet them. Um, so no names thus far, like, that I've picked. So I feel like everybody's probably super, like, when are the names happening? I don't know. When I meet the butterfly... But what happened was, anyway, in the they got shipped overnight, and um, one of them was shipped in, like, like they came in a plastic container, which is good, and they had air holes poked in them, and then the envelope had air holes poked in it. But um, the one of the one of the caterpillars was in, like, a wet, moldy leaf, and it did not make it. Um, and, like, moisture is not good for them. You don't have to give them water. They get all their moisture from the milkweed. So, it didn't make it. I only ordered four, and I was like, I'm going to pick four names, and, and now I only have three. And to be honest, that's questionable. I'm not sure if I have three. What happened was, one giant one showed up, and two little ones, and one of those little ones seems like maybe he's not braving things so well. Um, I'm going to check on him later, so I'm not going to show you. The two smaller ones are on one leaf right now. And I don't, like, I, I won't show you those ones right now just because I really don't want to disrupt that little one that I'm worried about. Um, and also I don't really want to get your hopes up that there is a third one and really I only have two. But one of them is massive. Like, he's huge. He's so giant. And um, so I'm going to show you him. And they're, they're right in there. Can you see that? They're in there. Look at it. Yesterday I had to go get a stick for them because... I'm really sure the big one is gonna like do it soon. Like he's like ready. He's so ready to um, just get out into the world and liquefy all of his organs and innards and then come out as a butterfly. That's what happens. It's gross. Not really the most majestic thing I've ever heard, but okay, give me one sec. I'm gonna show you. So this is like their little pavilion thing. What happens is you can buy these pavilions online with the larva. And, um, they're not very <laughs> cheap at all. You can't really see anything through here, can you? Let me see if I can get things, like... Well, they're obviously under the leaves. Monarchs love being under leaves. Um, I got that stick yesterday. I'd say it's a pretty good-looking stick. Um, 
but so they love being under leaves. And also there's probably a ton of <laughs> caterpillar poop in there. I emptied it, <laughs> like I cleaned it out probably around 8 this morning. It's around like 2 now. Um, but the big one eats a lot and poops a lot, so... Super majestic, am I right? Yeah, alright, let me open it. Okay, so... These things are pretty expensive. My mom actually found one um, at our Salvation Army slash thrift store slash... You know? Um, so... If we go in, I'm gonna try and find the big one. I don't know where he is, though. Is he under there? No, you have to flip the leaves. Let's see if you can find. There's some poop. Lovely. He's not there. Where did he go? Is he on the stick somewhere? Where did he go? Oh my god, this is news to me too. I can't find my big caterpillar. Is he under here? Oh my goodness, what happened? Is he on the stick somewhere? Am I missing something? Do we see him on the stick? Oh my goodness, where is he? My big giant one. He was so big. Is he under here? Did he move? Uh oh, how did I lose a caterpillar? He must be on the stick somewhere that I can't see. Where did he go? Alright, BRB. So I thought I lost him. <laughs> that piece of like, I don't know what that is, I guess that holds the hamper down, like you can fold the hamper and then... He's on that, I don't even know why. You need to be eating leaves. Anyway, <laughs> holy like, giant heart attack. How could I lose a caterpillar that big? Anyway, there's a little one, but I don't want to show you that one because... There's a maybe not one on there, and I'm worried, so I'm going to cover that. I'm going to cover them with leaves so that they can eat and be cool. But there he is! He's gigantic! I'm sad that I might only have two, but, um, that's okay. I'm going to cover him with a leaf, though. He needs to keep eating. He needs to, like, do his thing. They like being under leaves, um, because it's where birds won't get them. So they like being under leaves. And he was obviously, like, under that flipped over thing so he wants to be under something but yeah here's the setup and like I just gotta make sure that like this twig this stick thing is like has a good vertical high vertical point not vertical horizontal so yeah there's my caterpillars they're there you guys that big one should probably be called Angus because he's a cow but um I will think of it when I meet the butterfly Let's close this up properly, because I was super scared that, like, he got loose. <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh my god, giant caterpillar murdering things. Alright, so, say bye for now, caterpillars. Bye for now! Okay, so that's that. Um, they're not doing too much now. Just chilling. Um, I'm going to take them outside for some fresh air, and I should probably run because I totally promised Cody that I would go grocery shopping. And he's at work, and I've been doing not grocery shopping, I'll tell you that. Um, so I should probably do that and, like, maybe get those guys some time outside. Um, but, yeah, so I, will, I guess I'll, like, give updates when they happen. I'm really excited. I, probably the next update I'll do is when that giant guy becomes a chrysalid on that sticky poo, and then does butterfly things. I'm really worried that I only have two, but um, hopefully something happens. It doesn't look promising, though. Um, yeah, so yay for the big guy. Let's cheer on those little guys. Um, and then, yeah. That's all for now. Now that you've met the big guy, though, do you have, a, like, an opinion on... Like a name? Like Angus because he's a cow? Or like Socrates because he's old and wise? Um, that's what I got for now. Thanks. You can subscribe and all that fun stuff. I think a lot of people who are watching um, are just interested in the butterflies. But you can subscribe. You could do it. You could like this video. You could do that. Do that. Alright. I'm going to go do that grocery shopping that I'm supposed to be doing. That I should have been doing like probably like be done by now
All right, I'll go do that. Okay, thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, hi guys. Um, I just filmed this morning. Um, sorry, the lighting isn't as good in here. It's evening now. But, okay, so you know this morning how I couldn't find him? And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, where is he? And then I found him in the strap. Okay, so I went grocery shopping like I said I was going to. And then I came back and I, I watered the plants and I picked some milkweed leaves. And I went to go put them in and I couldn't find him. Because usually what happens is, like, I will take out um, some milkweed leaves and, like, find out where they are. Take out the leaves that they're on. Put them aside and, then like, go empty um, the pavilion outside. And I couldn't find him, and I was like, oh, God, okay. So, like, I was checking the straps again and, like, all the folds, and I could not find him. And you guys, I was so freaked out. Um, I called Cody, and I called my parents. I was like, I lost him, I lost him. He crawled out, I lost him. And I want to show you where he is. I came back. Cody was like, go look again. Like, be gentle. But, like, go look again. You'll find him. He's got to be in there. I didn't climb out. I don't know if I can, like, show this to you. Let me, I'm going to, I'm going to cut to it, and then just so I can get, like, a good camera shot, okay? Just one sec. Okay, this is a really rough shot, um, but I am trying to, like, you can't really see through the cloth. What if I put it, like, right up? Oh, there, you can see him. If I put it right up to the cloth, you can see him. There he is. He's, like, on this underhang side of the pavilion. That's him. He's going to do it soon, you guys. He's upside down. He's going to do it. I'm really excited. He's all full of milkweed, and he's going to do it. He's going to go. Cheer him on, okay? Give him some cheers. Woo! All right, thanks, guys. We'll check back in later.